guys welcome back so today's video is finally going to be the RV redecoration you guys saw me vlog and shop for everything also clean up a lot in here and you saw the way that it used to look with my makeup studio my ring light all the stuff that I used to have well now it's completely homey and I'm gonna show you the way I redecorated it from the living room all the way to the bathroom just the things that I changed and how different it looks now The first area that I started off with was the dining and I really wanted to find a nice little cute table that would be perfect for just two of us. So this is the one I went with. It is wood. It is also white so it makes this little area nice and bright. I also wanted to change out the curtains for sure because I knew that adding white curtains would make a big difference in this small little area. So I went ahead and I switched those out. It just had the original RV curtains and this made a huge difference. We also had to put the table together because we did order it online and it also has a leaf so you can extend it if you need just a little bit more space and like i said we also had to put the chairs together because it all came as a set you can also buy these separately but we did get it as a set because we needed the, t the chairs as well so this is the way that it looks i love it it just it's nice and simple I put some flowers in the middle and I also added my chair because that is the chair that I edit on and this is my new little work space as well so I did add the chairs and then like I said you can also put the leaf up if you need a little bit of space I also added these nice cushions that are very soft and uh, these go really well with the living room colors so just everything I just wanted everything to flow and tie in together as far as the colors go so this is how it looks i love it it's nice and bright and it fits just two people perfect for us and like i said my chair to edit on moving on to the second room that i worked on was the bedroom and even though i didn't do a big big uh change in as far as like you know adding things i did switch out a lot of the stuff that is already there so you can see it's still a little bit bright with the white sheets but i did want to go with a little a different color of them so i did switch out the sheets i switched out the pillowcases the pillows we needed to replace those so i added everything white and then the cover it had a pattern on it and i only did was switch out the insert this is from ikea and all you have to do is take out the inside switch it out it's easy to wash and living in an rv you only have a small washer if you even have a washer and so it makes it really easy for me to wash my covers and these were the pillows that I had on it at first but I did switch them out later these are also the curtains that are just already the original ones from the RV I removed the little hooks and everything and I added my own white ones but I did get them a little bit too long I was impatient I did not order them online to the correct size but I was like okay I got this and I ended up sewing them myself this is not something that I do, but I did it. I measured everything and I started sewing. <laughs> so these were just plain white curtains and I did have to take off kind of a lot. So it came out great. I didn't want them to be too long because I didn't want them in the way of us putting our water bottles or our cell phones or remote or anything. So I didn't make them too, too long, but just perfect for the windows. So like I said, even though it wasn't a huge change, just changing out the curtains made it look a lot brighter in here. And then adding the yellow deco pillows um, really brightened it up. I wanted to add some color to the room. And then I also switched out this curtain. It was just, again, the original one that it had. And even though it's behind the door, when we open it now and the window is open and there's bright white curtains it just brightens up the room completely so these were almost perfect uh, they were a little bit long and I do vacuum and I didn't want them to be that close to the floor I didn't cut them or anything I just went ahead and I used what we already had there and I hooked them behind these little brackets I can always cover it up but that's how it looks right now and like I said opening up the window 
having the white curtains really brightens up the room. So even though I had the white sheets before, it just looks much, much brighter now with the white curtains, the uh, yellow deco pillows, it just made a really big difference. Moving on to the bathroom, which was a room that I also didn't switch out a lot, but I did declutter it. I took out a lot of the things that were in the cabinets. I reorganized them and uh, it was still a lot of work from the inside that you can't really tell from the outside, but I just cleaned it all up, took out these mats that I had, which were purple and gray and switched them out to these white ones because it made the floor and the bathroom entirely a lot brighter and then I switched out the curtain which was really easy because I didn't have to cut it or sew it or anything like that it was a great size and just added to the white curtain and it made everything look a lot brighter from this area So again, small changes that made a big difference. Moving on to my favorite area of the transformation, I really wanted to make the living room area different because it used to just be all my makeup stuff. And now we have this beautiful couch that I really wanted to get in a mustard yellow color, which ended up being perfect. We did order it online, so at first I was like, oh my gosh, is it going to look the color that it looks like online? I wanted to keep everything bright, but at the same time, I wanted to add some color. And it ended up being the perfect yellow. I love the way that it looks. And like I said, we did order it online, so it did come in this box. We had to put it together. And it's actually a futon, so it does turn into a bed in case we have any guests over. We don't have extra room or like an extra space or an extra room. So having a futon is perfect for that. So it fit perfectly from both sides. It wasn't too big or too small or anything. And it takes up the entire space at the end of the RV. And I love the way that it looks. So now adding the little accessories, which is the curtains, the deco pillows, it made a really big difference. I did get the smallest curtain rod a little bit too big. And my husband just cut that up for me made it fit <laughs> but the curtains look perfect they are a cream color which again brightens everything up this is the curtain rod that was just a little bit too big but it was very easy for him to do that i think <laughs> it looked easy and then uh, it fit perfectly because it is a very tiny small window And then I also added these cushions, which I did order the covers online. I had these purple ones I didn't want anymore, and those were actually too big. I did measure them, and I got the perfect size that I measured, but apparently they were still too big. <laughs> so I just cut them and used the cotton that was inside. I didn't care for the covers that I had before, the purple ones. I've had those for years, and well, I needed something to stick in here or order something else and wait on it, so I just decided to put the cotton inside. And that is how it looked before and this is the big difference now I also added the little table just in case we have a drink or you know our cell phone or something we have something to put it on and then I also want to add these frames and since it's an RV and it's gonna be moving around it does have to be there like securely so we did add a velcro to them so that way I can take them off if I want to but they don't move around when we're moving the RV so this is way, way before when I had all my makeup right here. This is a desk that I used to have, the drawers where I used to keep my makeup collection, these two dressers. I got rid of everything, decluttered, kept only what I really, really wanted. And then this is the way that it looked once I was in the process of cleaning and buying everything that I wanted to put up. And now this is how it looks. I'm so, so happy with it. Everything looks neat, everything has a spot. Now we have a place to eat, we have a place to sit. We have plenty of space for other people to say if they come over. Uh, we have this very pretty fireplace, which we never really use out in the open because I've always had my desk there and all my stuff. And now it's just right in the center, looking good, looking pretty. And this is my favorite, favorite thing about the entire 
redecoration is the couch. I just love how pretty and bright it looks. It's a very beautiful mustard yellow, very, very soft. And I just wanted to add the touch of different colored cushions and different colors here and there. So I hope you guys like this transformation. I am so happy with how everything turned out and just tied in together. This is the view from the living room. And like I said, even though it's not a big space, now it's just nice and neat and open and just looks really really homey so i'm so happy with everything let me know what you guys think about this transformation i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye